welcome back to the channel. Uh, something a little bit different uh, in this video. Uh, it's a Monday morning in October and I am looking after a pub for two weeks. running any old pub I'm running uh, the Big Six Inn in Halifax. Uh, this is a unique terraced house pub uh, in Halifax which actually uh, I'm a co-owner of. Myself and my friend uh, bought uh, the Big Six in August 2021. Uh, we have a manager in place but she is having a well-deserved holiday. The first holiday she's had in over 12 months since she started working here as the manager and she's left it to me. What could possibly go wrong. Give a tour a bit later on, but uh, first things first, need to see where we are after the weekend. We've had quite a good weekend, uh, despite the, uh, the terrible weather on Friday and uh, parts of Saturday. So, uh, got a brew, and I'm gonna pop up to the office Take it. Guess that's uh, cashing up done. Uh, orders done. Now time to head down into the cellar. See where we are down there, uh, and uh, what needs to be done. If anything needs to be ordered. If anything needs to be set up. pub cellar, low ceiling, nice and cool, um, but a little bit cramped, difficult to work in. Um, we've got the traditional slide down into the cellar from the street outside. Cooler in the corner, running at around 11, 12 degrees. We do the clean, that's the job for this week. And Cellar temperature is a crucial part of the management of the beer. We also double check with a thermometer, which is telling me that our beer, our cellar, is at a correct temperature. Uh, this thermometer from the uh, Samuel Webster's Brewery in Halifax, uh, which closed in 1996. So goodness knows how long uh, this has been down here. Permanent beer is uh, Old Mill traditional bitter uh, from Leyburn in the uh, in the Yorkshire Dales, and we have this top rack here, five barrels Old Mill traditional bitter. We move from left to right down the rack, so we've got one in place here. One's already tapped and ready to go. These are the three They're settling. Uh, get them on the gantry uh, whenever a space becomes available to allow uh, the ale to um, settle. And then below that, we have another six barrels. There is our session pale ale that we always have on supply, uh, that we always have on stock, uh, and a uh, much stronger beer. We always have one beer uh, in the sort of five percent plus range. That might be a pale one, usually is because they are so popular. But we always have at least one strong beer on the bar. The racking system that we've got is actually spring loaded, um, so when a beer, when a barrel is placed on. It is flat, and as beer is gradually drawn from the barrel, it will slowly raise up, minimizing uh, disturbance uh, and disruption to the barrel uh, and the sediment that might be in the bottom of the barrel. Um, it also allows us to see 
when uh, a barrel is likely to be coming to uh, coming to its end. We are quite short of space, but we have ordered some beers in advance. Then round in this back cellar, we have our keg. We've got Guinness, Strongbow, Chuborg, Carlsberg, and San Miguel. Use this area for storing the empty barrels uh, until they get collected. Salad looks all in good condition, plenty of beer on the racks, um, everything tapped, vented, maybe talk about that in another video. So I'm happy that the cellar is good to go at four o'clock when we open. Quick look in the stock room in the back. We have very, very little space behind the bar. Um, so our fridges are in this back room. They seem to be nicely stocked. Gap there where the Britvic 55 is. Um, so that's a little trip up to the wholesalers this afternoon. Just give everywhere a quick once over. Um, I think we're all set up uh, in front of the bar. Everything nice and clean. Table set out. So I'm just gonna set the bar up and then I think that will be it for this morning. the auto vac system here the beer that um, is over pulled from the pump over spills from the glass goes into this tray uh, and is then drawn straight through into the next pint and then these floats should hopefully stop it from overflowing allowing it to uh, allowing the beer to, to drain through I'll put the sparklers on uh, at the last minute just as uh, just as we're about to open the doors And then just finish off the bar these handmade drip trays. And the bar is all set up. So we've got Strongbow, Guinness, Carlsberg. San Miguel and Tuborg on draft. We've got the old mill, traditional bitter, and then these pumps uh, are rotating guests. One pale session strength, one dark porter or a stout, one mid strength between four and five percent, and then we always finish off with one um, stronger one. One thing I've just realized. Uh, this Wensleydale black dub, you see the angle of the barrel, it's getting quite low. Next on is this Elland Brewery 1872 Porter. Um, so we need to get that tapped, um, ready for it to, uh, ready to go straight on um, and any disturbance in the tapping process should uh, hopefully Settle down in the in the hour or so before we before we open up. See, it's been vented. Now we've just got to do the tapping. So I need two things. I need a tap, and I need a big hammer. I need to make sure that the taps are closed. And then we're just going to give it a nice firm strike. And that is the Elland 1872 quarter tapped. Minimum leakage 
uh, although giving it a good couple of strikes uh, the, the barrel did uh, vibrate and touch so that's good that we've got plenty of time uh, for it to settle uh, before we're likely to um, to actually have to put the barrel on. So that with everything there uh, I think we're all good to go we've got Phoenix Arizona on um, at the moment the Durham white gold which is next on is all tapped and ready to go second barrel of white gold is all ready to go it has been vented I'll probably tap it uh, tomorrow depending on uh, how busy we are tonight uh, but yeah I think we're looking good the cellar looks to be okay call it a day there um, the pub is opening in, in an hour or so and I am back on the evening shift tonight for the Monday night quiz night a few uh, pub related out of pub errands to do uh, post office wholesalers that kind of thing uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, introduction to uh, running um, the greatest pub in the world uh, and uh, join me again on the next video where I'll be down in the cellar doing some cleaning so thanks for watching, uh, please like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.